because I'm interested in anonymous space. I'm interested in how we identify ourselves within anonymous space. I'm interested in utopia, ideas of progress and the promises that come along with those, the, the, pro the promises and also the, the problems that arise out of that kind of thinking. So I think a lot of my work deals with um, our ability to exist in anonymous space. Practice fields to fun. No, no, not the. Yeah. No, I think we're fine, but thank you. to do and see if I could get away with it and um, more recently I've been doing a lot more studio work a lot of work that I set up myself but there's always uh, been something really appealing to me about going out and kind of and seeing things and finding things um, the in particular the architecture for some reason our town is filled with these stadium lights, these giant industrial, very um, white, I think they're mercury lights actually, but um, these fields are just open and uh, nobody bothers me and I just go around and, and photograph them over here, but we'll see what happens, um, see if this is the first time they do bother me. I feel a, a lot of my work comes out of art made by photographers in the 70s, the new topographics, or maybe the, the Beckers, who are, who are photographers working in Germany, um, who dealt with industrial forms, um, gridded forms, international style architecture, brutalism. And uh, I, I think I'm conflicted and I feel ambivalent about them. I think art can't help but change culture and change the universe. I think art that sets out to do so oftentimes is foiled or never succeeds. Art that tries, sets out to be important, I don't think always hits its mark. I think the art that ends up being important is art that's earnest and personal and sincere and dealing in a rigorous way with issues and dealing in an honest way. And so just as analog photography or any other medium bears the marks of the process that made it, I was interested in Photoshop more literally bearing the marks of the process that made it.
I'm interested in pointing the emphasis back on the structure of a photograph, the structure of a digital photograph as well, and talking about its own materiality, materiality, even a digital file having materiality. After my undergraduate degree, I, I worked for a photographer named Edward Bertinsky, and we traveled a lot, and I became very interested in um, the in-between spaces we found ourselves in, airports and subway stations, and regardless of where we were in the world, uh, they all had a similar aesthetic vocabulary. They all seemed to function in the same way. And I was interested in them as a kind of universal limbo or a non-space. And I started making a lot of very large color photographs dealing with these empty spaces. But the way that I, I talked about my work was really uh, pejorative. It was really negative, talking about how these spaces were alienating or how these spaces were uh, contrary to the idea of individual identity and um, so so the way that I photographed them and the way I talked about them were a bit contradictory and I realized my relationship to these things were, was a lot more complex and so I think a lot of my work comes out of my own personal ambivalence between the promise of order being created through a gridded layout of a city or a gridded, f purely functional um, architecture, and the, and the fact that those places don't leave much space for individuals. I try to make the work as accessible as it possibly can while still dealing with the things that I'm trying to think about and want to talk about. And so I'm not trying to purposely obfuscate my work or make it inaccessible, but I'm also not trying to make it overly easy for people where the content suffers. Um, because honestly, I, I really believe in art as in anything else, that in order to gain something worthwhile from any interaction, both parties have to give something. And so um, art that only is giving and doesn't ask anything of its viewer, I think ultimately is futile or can't achieve its, its larger purposes. And uh, I, I'm interested in landscape photography, but I'm afraid I was born a bit too late. Um, Traditional landscape, landscape photography has kind of been pre-digested for all of us. And, and so again, I'm, I'm interested in complicating this and presenting this sublime image um, in a way that, that more reflects my current interaction with these kinds of things. I, I see these kinds of pictures generally mediated through an electronic device, and I, I'm interested in this Again, reminding the viewer that this isn't a cloud, this is a digital image, this is a, a pile of pixels um, making up a depiction of a cloud. Yeah, I'm interested in that rupture in the uniformity of the, the, the fence, the grid. Well, I'm also interested in how bland it is. My making art has always been about me trying to figure out the world that I exist in and trying to figure out my place in it. Uh, yeah, let me move these. Um, for a while, I, uh, I was taking these pictures of obviated old office equipment. And they seemed so pathetic, but also endearing. And I saw them kind of uh, as emblems of progress, but I also saw them as, as terribly banal and kind of pathetic things. When I was in grad school at the Art Institute in Chicago, there, my year was quite small. I think there were eight people. There were eight people in my year. And, uh, you know, in the same way, like the show Real World, we felt kind of typecast, and I was the religious guy. And so I think every time somebody talked about my work, they were trying to filter it through um, 
religion. And um, I think a lot of it was maybe pushing too far. I, I think the role of religion in my work is the fact that my religion, everything I do and think filters through my religion. And so everything I do comes out of those beliefs in some way or another. I don't think that my work is literally about my religious beliefs, but I think my work is inescapably about my upbringing, which incorporates my, my faith and um, belief in truth, belief in uh, objective truth, belief in um, kind of a belief in utopia. But when uh, I'm, I make work and when I'm dealing with work, I, I, don't, I don't know that I'm literally connecting those, those dots. I just think that they're there regardless. So I'm interested in these lights, but dislocated from what they're actually doing, which is very innocuous. They're just meant to light up this practice field so people can play flag football. Um, but I like that when you decontextualize them and you show them by themselves, uh, their purpose, their function becomes a bit confused and could feel ominous, could feel, again, a bit benign, but I, I like playing with that.